Hey all Brian here for Placid5, and welcome to the spoiler-free review of The Black Phone. Did they answer the call with a unique and exciting horror flick, or were we left with a disappointing dial tone? Let's find out. So The Black Phone is a horror movie, well, a horror movie for most of the audience, minus the guy behind us who is cackling throughout, based off of the short story with the same name by Joe Hill. The film focuses on Finney, a boy who has been kidnapped by an infamous child killer played by Ethan Hawke, and his journey of trying to escape. The twist comes when he must rely on previous victims to give him clues and pointers from the afterlife before time runs out. So right off the bat, one of the pros of the movie is how it takes its time to really develop these characters and make you feel for them as time goes on. The standouts of the film are Ethan Hawke as the grabber, and the sibling duo of Finney and Gwen, played by Mason Thames and Madeline McGraw. These two young actors really sell their sibling bond and showcase a wide range of class acting throughout the film. And I'm predicting that we're going to be seeing a lot more of them in future films as they continue to grow as actors. As usual, Ethan Hawke also holds it down playing a creepy and menacing child killer throughout. While I thought some of the acting from the supporting roles were a bit robotic, overall all the characters and actors hold their own and really sell the story. Another pro was the creative storyline and plot. This was a great short story to adapt in that it takes a departure from the usual horror films and adaptations we see. Using past victims as a way to guide Finney out via the black phone is not only extremely original, but it's used to nice effect for suspense purposes on screen. While I personally wasn't a huge fan of some of the supernatural elements of the movie, it's extremely original and works very well on the big screen. Unfortunately, the film is not without its flaws. It does fall victim to some of the generic tropes and cliches we see in a lot of horror movies today. There was a lot of moments in the film where I was kind of left scratching my head wondering what some of the characters were doing. I wish I could pinpoint some of these specifically, but unfortunately I don't want to spoil the film. With this in mind, I totally understand that if any of us were in that scenario, it'd be easy to see why you wouldn't do certain things, but when you are fighting for your life, there's some things that are pretty blatant, at least to me. The third act of the film is definitely the strongest, and it's when everything really comes together nicely. Nonetheless, The Black Phone does succeed in many ways and stands out as a really solid and original horror flick for the summer. The Black Phone gets a 7.5 out of 10. Let us know below what you thought of The Black Phone and what you're looking forward to to watch next in theaters. Please subscribe for more reviews and video content. Thank you very much for watching and have an awesome day.